Son. Uh, we're just so blessed to have him as part of our congregation, the work that he does out in the community, and the ministry that he does serving the Lord Jesus Christ and the many that have been brought to him. So give a hand to Chris as he, as he comes up to share with you. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is good. Amen. Amen. He's good. He's good. How y'all doing this morning? Good. Everybody blessed? Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. Well, let's give Jesus a hand. Amen. Because it's only by His grace and mercy that we stand here today. We're here. We're in the house of God praising the Lord. Amen. And God is so good. Well, Pastor Mike, he asked me uh, a couple of weeks ago to come share something with you guys. And um, I said, yeah. The Bible says, always be ready to give an account. And so, um, with me personally, I've been a part of this, this church, San Diego Christian Center, for three years. And um, I came at the very beginning, when uh, we were in Rancho Bernardo. And, 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 yeah, and um, you know, what the enemy tried to do is he tried to pull me away so many times, looking at circumstances and situations, but God said, no, you are there for a reason. You are there because you have a work to do, amen? And I noticed that I said, God, you know, I thank you for keeping me. I thank you because we have done so much ministry. We fed so many people in the name of Jesus. We have went out um, just so much stuff that, is, that this church has done. Amen. And so I encourage everybody here today to stay in the fight. You're in a good place here. You're in a good place. You have two leaders that love God. They love God. And if you guys don't know that, you'll never know it. You know, and it starts with leadership. You gotta know that. If you got a bad leader, then that trickles down to the congregation, amen? So I have a scripture I just wanna share with you guys real quick, and it's Matthew 5, 16. Josh, you got that? Matthew 5, 16, because I asked God, I said, Lord, um, you know, I wanna I want give them a scripture to leave them with. And uh, so this says, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. And I said, God, I've been doing my best to let my light shine before me. I've been doing my best to glow in the dark. We should be glowing in the dark. Because the minute you step out of the house of God, you're in a dark place. It can be broad daylight, but this world is darkness. It's darkness, and you got to glow. you got to let your light shine before me. And it's not about uh, uh, pleasing anybody else, but it says the Heavenly Father, which is in heaven. You know, you want to let me, what the object of this whole Christian thing is to lead somebody else to Christ. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And so I just want to leave that with you guys. I'm actually moving. I'm moving next month. I'm transitioning. I'm going to the East Coast. Uh, I've been out here all my life. I've been, I've been out here all my life. I've been in ministry 17 years. And uh, God said, it's time to do something else. You know, my ministry is the gang member, the dope dealer, the prostitute, those type of people. That's where I came from. So God brought me back into that same environment. And I can't begin to tell you, because I've been glowing in the dark, how many people I've led to the Lord. I only do this music, I only do rap music, I only do this Christian walk thing, lead somebody else into the kingdom. Amen? So it's been a wonderful, wonderful blessing. You can, I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff I've learned from Pastor Mike. Integrity. Just, oh my God. I can go on and on and on. But I want to encourage everybody. You're in a good place. And of course, I'll be coming back. I'm definitely coming back. You know, this, this will always be home. You know, before this church was even built, the Lord allowed me to work here. And um, I remember standing on this very stage when it was nothing but cement. It was still dirt. The stage wasn't finished. And I remember crying out to God. I was the first person to worship in this sanctuary before it was built. And I thank God for that. He has kept me. Now, has it been an easy road? No. You know, God never promised us that it would be easy. But I tell you one thing. If you stay in the fight, it's well worth. It may not look like it right now, but I encourage you, stay in the fight, stay praising, stay worshiping, stay reading your word, because I'm telling you, God is a rewarder. Hallelujah. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him.